Uh, you can understand his viewpoint in that this is a team that's decimated with injuries. He's having to play youngsters against one of the best teams in the world. But he didn't have to. That was my point. He didn't have to play the youngsters today. I'm not saying the others were playing brilliantly, but he did not have, particularly in the back four, uh, we know these players are out, but as Plaqueta come on, Cucurella was on the bench. But his, 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 his thinking like, right, Jaguar okay, Silva. whatever team I put out against City, we're probably going to lose. So what I need to do is prioritise Wednesday away against Fulham, where we've got a much better chance of getting a result. So therefore, I'm not going to play Thiago Silva or Azpilicueta because I need them for that game, which really I will be judged Well, by. I understand the Thiago Silva one because of his age. The others, I don't really. The game's on Wednesday. It's not tomorrow. Uh, if I put out a back four, it keeps a clean sheet at Man City. I'm, I'm pretty good with that going into Wednesday rather than going into Wednesday off, off the back of a pummeling. Uh, if I'm him, I'm sitting in my office, I'm getting my staff, and I'm putting everybody's name up on the board. And I'm going to sit with my staff, the ones that are fit and available, I'm going to sit with my staff and I'm say, tell me about this player. <clears throat> Is he going to go to the well for me? Right. Is he going to roll his sleeves up and fight and run? And if the staff and, and the consensus is no, Cross, out, he's not playing. And I go down them and then I figure out who's at least yeah, but Craig, going the problem to show is, that. You're looking at that front line, for example. Havertz, you imagine, is not under that umbrella. You look at Sterling at the moment, obviously injured. Who else played today? You had Mount there, who obviously is committed to the cause, but in a bad run of form at the moment. You could be in a situation where all of them are on the wrong side of that list. Yeah, but my, my, front, <laughs> my front line, although it is not and, and hasn't been for a while operational, and they are lacking in that department. My bigger concern is midfield and, and the back. Right. Because they can't keep a clean sheet. Right. And I can worry about that, but I need to fix this bit first. <laughs> I need to make sure my back four is in place, that I'm solid, and my midfield's giving them protection. We've talked about that with Liverpool. Stevie's talked about it. That back line that looked so solid for so long has never looked so... Uh, it's never looked so weak and so open, but they're getting run at from uh, a lack of bodies in the middle of the park. And, and from Chelsea, it's the same. I can worry about the fact I haven't got a goal scorer. Once I worry about what everything else is going wrong at the other end. And, and as I say, the games are coming thick and fast. And I'm intrigued to see what his team selection is going to be come, come midweek. And, I'm, I'm, and another defeat, I, it just begs more questions about his ability to make the changes within this current squad that Chelsea need to move forward. I'm gonna, I, I, this is a really stupid question, and I, it's a difficult one for you to answer. But from what we saw in that post-match interview, where he was really nice, really engaging, compared to what we've maybe seen from other managers who've achieved more than him in the past, is he too nice? Well, you were right about your question. Yeah, no, I know, but do you, you get what yeah, I'm no, I know. I, 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 yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He might be in the dressing room shouting and bawling. Right. I, I don't know. I, yeah. don't, I don't think so. Uh, I don't. He doesn't seem to me a guy who's frightened to make big decisions. Right. So I don't, I don't think it's that. I, I just think when he's, at the moment, when he's looking at setting up his team during the week or for two or three days before a game... He's probably got a million things changing in his mind. No, that's not going to work. No, that's not going to work. No, he's not worked for me. No, he's not worked for me. And I just don't think he knows what 11 to put out to get the results that he needs. I just don't. Go on, Frank. Yeah, I, I agree with Greg. I think... Uh... I talked to Zidane once, and he, he was telling me that sometimes he woke up at the 2, in, 2 a.m. and he said, well, oh, I forgot something. I forgot to, to tell that player that he wouldn't play the, tomorrow. So they have thousands of things to think. But you have to clear up your mind and to know exactly what you have to say and what, what you have to do, but what you have to say to the players. And, uh, and I, I completely agree with Craig. You have to make sure that, you, that your team is solid enough to, to keep, a, goal, to keep a, uh, a score, and then maybe you can think about the future, which is scoring goals. <laughs> it's where Chelsea is right now. That's what it is. That's, that's uh, crazy, but that's what it is. So you have to make sure that the guy in charge 
will go to the go back to the basics and make the team playing like you want to survive. I'm sorry. What he explained, I mean, it's hard to come after the game and I think he shouldn't have come. Well, it's nice for him to come, but he shouldn't have come because you have nothing to say and you nothing you can really say. Um, I thought that game was the most important game of the season for the rest of the season because they had only the FA Cup to, to win, except if they win the Champions League, which would be a miracle, but it already happened. But the thing is, I don't think he's going to be, he's going to be relegated. So what, what about the game on Wednesday? Try to win that game. Try to win that game with Thiago Silva at the back and Aspiliqueta, Aspiliqueta on, the, on the right side. Try to get some wire in the middle of the park. Uh, so Dakaya was the best player. Why was he on the bench today? Why? I don't, I don't get that. So he made mistakes. The team selection was wrong. It's nice that he came, but he has no excuses. On that game, he has no excuses. He made it wrong. So let's see on next Wednesday what's going to happen. <laughs> if there is another another game for him. One of the problems for Graham Potter is perception. Uh, I think other managers, maybe not as bad, maybe worse, I don't know. I think other big-name managers might be having the same problems. But I think the blame would be, well, it's the injuries, it's the players. I don't know, Craig, you one in eight at Chelsea. No, 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 I'm, no, no I, don't, I agree. But what I'm saying is, the perception here for a struggling manager is Brighton's Brighton, Austersons is Austersons, Swansea yeah. Swansea. And whether that's the right analysis or not, it is in some quarters the analysis. Whereas Tuchel struggled at the end and that's why he was sacked. He got nowhere near the title last year. Yes, did win the Champions League, but the perception because he'd been at Dortmund and PSG was he'll get the job done. He'll turn it round. It's the players. Potter's not and, and is never, and unless he's successful at Chelsea or somewhere else, he's never going to have that luxury. Right. And that is another problem for him, is perception. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.